Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Um, guys, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps the channel. It helps the message get out to more people. And it makes me feel good, so please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is down below. Um, along with links to my other platforms for additional content and services that I provide. So, yeah, all that's there. Um, cancers, happy birthday. Happy birthday to a very special cancer. Me, mommy. I love her. That's my girl. <laughs> um, and I hope she enjoys it. We will do what we do. All right. All right, Nuggets, say happy birthday to my mommy. All right, so our channel songs for today, we have Can't Take My Eyes Off of You by Lauren Hill and um, Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. Um kind of opposite energies oh that's the one I couldn't remember I knew there was another one I knew there was another one hold on y'all because this um, um, yes it's by Lauren Hill this third song is by Lauren Hill I knew there was another one um, and it's called just like water it's from her unplugged so let me make sure I write that down Yes. Okay. I knew there was another song and I couldn't, uh, I went to pick up my notepad to write it down and it was gone because something else came in. So, um, guys, get together. Get it together because there is something that is coming in that, um, um, it's going to be overwhelming um, and from the looks of it it's going to be emotionally overwhelming and it's going to come from someone or come from a place that you weren't expecting so just be chill be mindful um, whatever this is it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a negative thing it doesn't even feel negative it actually feels quite positive but still overwhelming to the point where you're just like you were not expecting it and it could very well just like what kind of thing so that's what I'm getting from that all right let's get some TT music Oracle messages For others, this 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 is seeing something completely clearly, like no no foolishness, no BS. You see it for what it is, and um, you are acting accordingly. Again, this doesn't necessarily have to be you know like a negative thing where you're cutting something out, but it's um, it comes through as you know complete truth and clarity. And once you get this epiphany this understanding this awakening this new idea this new thought there's nothing that can deter you from it you know what it is you know what you're going after now you know what this is going to take i like that and also i am going to say that um this um, song by Queen reminds me of um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius feminine energy so take that how it applies for you okay alright music oracle message Lauren Hill is coming through real tough today we have Lauren Hill X Factor um, Outstanding by the Gap Band and Me by Oshun that is O.S. H U N under the deck we have calling on angels by train all right so of course 
fantastically it is oh my air conditioner's on hold on y'all know i got the doors and whatnot open hold on my apologies nuggets my bad i thought i had turned that off all right so yes yeah, seeing things clearly seeing things for what they are um with this another one bites the dust i am getting like seriously cutting something out walking away seeing something for what it is healed energy healed energy and in that healing there is forward focus there's the focus is so um so clear that there's there will be nothing to deter you from what you're what you're going after what you're doing um with the Oshun song they also have another song called uh solar plexus and they very very much radiate that solar plexus energy for me so and of course Oshun the color um the deity um her her color is uh yellow or um associated with honey nectar nourishment um beauty so um this is you seeing yourself this way and um also someone seeing you this way or you seeing someone this way take it how it how it applies but it goes you know it start we start with us first you know me we start with me first okay and then it goes out to to others or comes back to us but it's what it looks like here is there's been some um some new train of thought some new um awakening new awareness new epiphany has happened for you or that's what's going on and you're seeing the past for what it is you're seeing the purpose of uh why things had to happen the way that they did and in you seeing that there is this you know overwhelming this outstanding um awareness that is a uh, very very much you shining a light shining your light being exactly who you are called to be today is a great day it sounds like today is a great day for you all right wild unknown animal spirit message okay we have two all right, so we have the tarantula or the tarantella. Take it how it how how you want to pronounce that. This is um this is the traditional tarot card, the eight of wands for me. So a lot of communication, a lot of movement, um, action being taken. Um, this could be communication so um not just communication with um one other person this could be a uh, several other people and we also have oh my goodness we have the spider so the tarantula is um fire energy and the spider the spider is um earth energy this is networking very much networking um seeing something feeling um feeling i'm getting feeling the love but also um the uh eight of wands or the tarantula could also be um you know some some darts being thrown and you're feeling those but as long as it's you know over there don't worry about it you have another focus okay under the deck we have the hawk this is absolutely you seeing something seeing some truth in something seeing something for what it is and in you doing so and in you recognizing or spotting um not even you know just the stuff that's going on around you or you know bs coming from any which way this is you recognizing your own truth within yourself this is you balancing you know your own foolishness we always start with us first 
okay? Seeing something from a higher perspective, tuning in to um, what's what's in what's going on around us energetically and then also being able to take action on that or speak things that need to be spoken communication this has a lot to do with movement and communication is what it looks like here all right but it's grounded communication um grounded and passionate i'm getting all right passionate communication all right from the um, Brian Froud Fairy Oracle deck, we have a couple of cards here. All right, we have card number 28, Penelope Dreamweaver. Card number 49, Miko Amuckle. This is fun. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have card number one, Unity. And card number 57, Lawathas the Wild. Okay, this is, this is good. Um, this is, that looks like manifestation um, from a higher perspective and then you doing something super spontaneous. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't necessarily use this term myself personally, but... This is what I am getting, so I'm going to say it. Shitting on your haters. Whatever that means for you, Nugget, okay? 1234, I'm just saying. Underneath the deck, we have card number 35. And, I'm sorry, card number 32. And this is Iris of the Rainbows. You picking a, picking a place, picking a direction, and everything you have going towards it. You understanding what's going on, seeing something very, very clearly, and um, this is, you know, that um, I'm getting Sagittarian energy, but it's more of um, you allowing yourself to be the the bow. No, you allowing yourself to be the arrow to God's bow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. You allowing yourself to be the arrow to God's bow. That's surrender. That's surrender. And then you seeing the higher perspective of whatever it is that you're directing yourself towards. It is um it's opening up the floodgates I'm hearing y'all. As you, you know, see some things for what they are, see some past stuff for what it is, it um, brings in clarity and you are very much in the direction of moving forward and completely, totally surrendering to and realizing your dreams. Whatever that is for you, y'all go ahead on. I like it for you. Oh, Archangel uh, Michael there with the confirmation. Also, Gabriel I'm hearing. So, all right. Y'all, I'm excited. I'm trying to keep it calm, but it is what it is. I am very excited, though. Okay, Psychic Tarot Oracle Message. We have card number one. Prosperity begins, and that is the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have um, card number four, Firm Foundation, is the Four of Pentacles. So building, taking this opportunity that you're being, you've been given, or you're, you know, that's in front of you, and creating a solid and firm foundation. You are building. Um, this is going to be very stable, very firm, very, um, fruitful. I'm getting very fruitful from this, um, prosperity begins. This is yielding fruit for you. Wherever you have, uh, planted a seed, wherever you have, um, set your intentions to, it is 
grounded. I'm hearing solid. Solid as a rock. All right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, under the deck we have card number 15 and this is temptation. This is you sowing the temptation. This is you surrendering and seeing the fear, the addiction, the codependency, the um, trap, whatever that was. You seeing it for, for what it was and seeing it clearly. Seeing it for what it is that was trying to... Um, man. Okay. Seeing what it was that was trying to stop your flow. Um, I am hearing right now uh, T.I.'s motivation. Yo, that's what I'm, man. Okay. If this is, if this message ain't for nobody but me, God is good. And that's all I'm going to say. But I'm, I'm, I'm positive there are more of you that, that are going to resonate with this. I am positive. Whatever the trap that was set, Nuggets, listen to you, TT, I'm talking to you. Whatever trap was set, not going to prosper. God said no. God said no. God said, uh-uh, not this time. You tried it. That's the, oh my gosh. Now I'm hearing uh Toby in Nugwe. Try Jesus. They tried Jesus one too many times and Jesus turned them tables over. <laughs> I'm not laughing at nobody. My thing is the seeds that you sow, you reap. Alright, so our uh spirit animal message we have card number 65 well spirit trust the great mystery this is what you're supposed to do this is this is what you're being called to do is trust and have faith that god's got you that wherever you're being led wherever you're going wherever you're growing to the stage is set the stage is set you have grounded yourself in um, whatever it is that you have, whatever's come in for you, whatever this opportunity is, you're grounded in it now. You're And you're building on it. And you building on it, God is like, oh, so now you trust me. Okay. Let's, let's, and I can, I'm, I'm seeing God wrenching his hands and saying, oh, you finally got it. All right. Let's go. That's amazing. Under the deck, we have card number 11. Ah, I'm excited. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Well, hello and good morning. Let that marinate. Let that marinate. Transformation is beautiful. Whatever, however you went in, Nuggets, I'm going to say however you went in as far as this, uh, this new moon energy, however you went in, you are now coming out even better. I, I'm hearing pure gold. Some of you, I'm, oh my goodness, I'm hearing through the fire by um, uh, Shaka Khan. Y'all better go head on. I, I, y'all, I like it. I like it a whole heap. All right, so let's go ahead and do this, Pimpins. Advice for the collective for today, and I'm gonna let y'all go and enjoy, enjoy your day. I usually do not do uh, messages on Sunday, but. I was being guided to do so and I am obedient so I have learned to practice surrender to what I'm being told uh, spiritually I 
I'm hearing nuggets. Uh, you're taking the reins. All right. You're taking the reins. All right. We have earthed. <laughs> Learning how to be human in the world, but not of the world. If you don't get your whole spiritual, psychic, special, unique, gifted self together. Get yourself together. Go ahead and, and start wrenching your hands and seeing, you know, what you can create once you get the focus, since you have the focus. Now see what solid foundation you can build. When you're emotionally cool, you're emotionally stable with all these deep feelings and all this stuff and gotten yourself together and released codependency on whatever, doesn't matter where, what it is, released fear from whatever, doesn't matter what it is, man, what can you do? What can you do? I'm telling y'all right now, I'm seeing what I can do. Under the deck, we have your life is a canvas, artist, um, manifestation, creative accountability. So I got two things from this. With this being the um, energy underneath the deck, this is you recognizing up to this point, you have been the co-creator of your life. Taking accountability and responsibility for your, um, your thoughts, your deeds, your actions, uh, your missteps, your low frequency, your doubts, all of that. Seeing your part in the situation and moving accordingly. Once you've gotten all of that together within yourself, realizing that, hey, you know what? They might have done so-and-so, but I am the other side of that equation. Let that marinate realizing you're the other side of the equation realizing that yeah you you may have taken on um, other people's uh, responsibilities especially when it comes to being a healer um, being a person who is um, emotionally intelligent taking on that responsibility for other people is not our job Especially for those of us who are, uh, I'm getting for those of us who are, uh, they have a lot of water in our chart. So a lot of Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, and I'm also going to throw in there, uh, I'm also going to throw in their Sagittarius as well because they're very, very aware, um, but they're aware in a in a different uh, in a different way. Um, we'll put we'll put Capricorn energy in there too, because Capricorns are are aware in a different uh, mindset as well. But it's a uh, it's a, an emotional awareness that um, if you are in a high frequency. It's very giving, it's very loving, it's very understanding and patient and uh, um, for some foretelling. Take that how it applies, I don't know. Um, but in a low frequency, oh sweet Jesus. Oh no, that's, that's, that's a whole different other kind of um, torment within yourself. It, we always start with ourselves first. Okay, that is a torment within yourself. And then uh, as that energy uh, sits within you, I'm, I'm, I'm talking here, I'm preaching and I'm saying good stuff because I'm talking to me too. Um, that stuff sits on the inside of you and it creates um, dis-ease in your mind and disease in your body. I don't care what nobody say. It all works together. Okay. So in doing that and still, you know, holding on to those things, that lower frequency energy, we, you know, it starts to 
radiate out from us and it affects everything so once we get into this understanding once we catch on to that and see it for what it is that queen of swords comes in and cuts everything down the middle this is what it is this ain't what it ain't and it's whatever's got to go has gone and whatever needs to be understood and learned has been absorbed and taken in and now prosperity begins and you can create a firm foundation it's getting ready to, it's getting ready to go quick nuggets it's going to be quick this is now um, anchoring your your higher self into the 3D and just taking off this is like hitting the ground running but it's been in the works for a very long time okay um yes the signs i already said you know uh cancer scorpio pisces big emphasis on scorpio with this transformation here um we have um sag and let's see sagittarius and gemini libra aquarius capricorn all right nuggets i love you I love you from my soul, and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.